I am so excited. Today is a huge day. Welcome to Toolbench, a new channel for YouTube featuring builds, projects, tool reviews, you name it. Anything that has to do with garage play, shop play, things like that. My name is George. I am your host. So, without further ado, we are going to start it the first video for Toolbench. So today we're going to start with something very simple. Um, my little brother has this little uh, foam airplane and what we are going to try to do is repair it because him and his friend were out and wah 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 she stopped chooching. Um, the wing came off and yeah you probably can guess the rest so I have an idea to make it a little better and to help the repair what we're going to do is a coat hanger hack um, so give me a second grab a coat hanger and what we're going to do is put some splints inside the wing and we're going to put some um, fix all adhesive um, right here on the wing. That ought to do the trick. So let's get the needle nose pliers. Excuse the back of my head. Not the most pretty thing in the world. Splint number one. Oh shit. There it goes. Alright, uh. In splint number two. Here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Hell yeah. Hoping this camera rig does not get in my way. Oh, well, let's do this. Let's try applying the adhesive first. If I can, damn it. get it open, helps when you can open the thing. <laughs> Things adhesive's too damn strong. By the way, this is extremely flammable. So if you don't have the right sense, if your brain's not in the right spot, well then you probably don't want to use it. What we're going to also do is, as you saw, probably just saw how easily those wings come out, we're going to go ahead and tack those in place too. Now, this says, uh, don't know any, uh, let dry for 10 minutes. So, give me one second. Alright, so I'm going to start the timer. It needs 10 minutes to activate. So, what we're going to do is apply it. Why did I do that? That makes no sense at all. So, what you want to do is kind of do it like that. I like to do it in circles because it evenly applies it and for reasons. Oh, wow, that stuff's strong. Okay. There's that wing.
Alrighty, let's squeeze some more down the chute. Alrighty. I want to try to avoid beating it up if at all possible because it will not dry properly. We're going to try this. I don't think... Oh, I'm going to open the garage door. Alright, timer's on. Sorry about that, folks. Now you probably hear all the birds and bees and all the um, meerkats humping in the trees. I have found that this stuff works incredibly well. Um, not gonna, can't really say how well, but it works pretty well. It works very good. So shout out to Super Glue. Stuff's available at the dollar store. It's a dollar for a tube. Not bad. You know, for the price of a good adhesive on a large tube, depending on the brand name. It's going to run you about the same price. Let me get the, the thing in my bob. Now, as you can see, we are putting metal, and this is a plane that weighs almost nothing. So we probably want to stuff a little bit of metal in the other wing to act as a counterweight to rebalance the aircraft. Now some people might think it'd be easy to just pop another hole in it. Having that said, it's not what you want to do. Or, that's what, not what we're going to do in this case. And we are hung up. Ah, oh, that's it. So we weren't actually poking through it. We're kind of poking into it more. That's why. Alright. Let that do a bit of drying. Now we're going to put in our counterweights on the other wing and this should help if anything or our single counterweight I'm just gonna put in one long one Oh, that's not going too well. Just gonna cut it there. That'll do it. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of electrical tape over that. That should help that from having any mess ups aerodynamically 
I think, theoretically. I mean, the theoretical thinking is big. Yes. Tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna just probably slide some pins through some more coat hanger. Because that stuff is apparently pretty pretty skookum. And it's wanting to eat away the what's it called? It he's a what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know my words, don't know my birds, don't know my bees. But at least when I was a kid I liked climbing trees. Ha! Maybe some tape. We'll try some tape. This is kind of planned, kind of not planned. It's kind of, you know, an up in the air kind of thing. We are going to try some ideas. If they work, they work. If they don't, then they don't. Do frickity hoo. Anywho. We shall give her our best shot. That's actually holding quite well. So essentially what we've done is we made a splint, a fancy, in the actual aviation world, which would be three quarters of a million dollars splint. for essentially a fraction of that cost. I'm gonna put an extra piece of tape right here. The more, the merrier. I don't think that that glue is gonna work. I think, if anything, I screwed it up a little bit more. Unknowingly, I had a feeling that this might happen, and I didn't want to use hot glue, because I knew that hot glue would just melt it. Um, apparently, that's what's happened. Is there's a chemical reaction that's causing it to melt. I'm going to add a little bit more tape on top Voila. Oh yes. That's much, much more sturdy. I like it. <laughs> oh, wow. If all the goodness in the world could not come to an end, I'm going to add some tape on the other wing once again to try and balance this out.
we have a little piece here that's already starting to show signs of this is sticking really really well the foam this tape does sometimes have some issue it's scotch patch packaging tape but sometimes it really doesn't want to always stick to what you want it to stick to Sometimes it wants to have like a little childish argument with you like, no, no, I don't want to stick to that. And you're like, no, I need you to, because I told you to. Made in China. Everything is made in China. Absolutely everything. All right, there goes that timer. Don't know how useful it was. <laughs> Got all kinds of noises. All kinds of noises. I'm gonna add another. Keep in mind, folks, this is a dollar store airplane. We were not, I was not expecting too much when I brought it, bought it, bought it, bought it for my brother. However, he is a loving child and he knows I'm good at fixing things. So he dare challenge me to fix this. He said, big brother, fix my airplane or I'll scream and cry all day. No, he didn't do that, but he, um, his face implied that. But, with the sweet, innocent little face that he has, could not say no to it. Um, sounds like I'm getting emails, that's what that beeping sound is. In case anybody cares. In case anybody's freaking out in the video, wondering, oh god, is the phone going to explode? Nope, it's fine. Oh. I got plenty of tape. Might as well go ahead and reinforce the whole bastard. Not like it's going to go anywhere else. Except on the hook on the wall. You know? This tape was given to me for a reason. That is to use it. This is... Funny story, this tape was actually given to me by my... Um... Kindergarten... Kindergarten teacher. And as a kid, I always messed with tape. She knew I absolutely loved tape. So... For my high school graduation present, she gave me about 12 rolls of scotch tape. It was absolutely hysterical. And everyone loved it. It was the perfect gift. And she's just the perfect person to give it to because she understood that about me. Wow, I didn't even think I'd tape that wing. That's how incognito. So there's the plane so far. I'm going to get the tape out from between the crotch of my legs and sit it on the death bench. But there you go. So far, so good. I don't know how well this is going to fly. Yeah. All right. So we got our pins. We're going to try to pin the wings in instead of taping them.
There we go. Just like the hypodermic needle from hell. We'll back it out just a little extra. Cut it. Shove it back in. Ta-da! A wing that won't fall off. That worked surprisingly too well. That worked too well. The door closed itself. Kind of creepy. There we go. Put a couple pieces of electrical tape on the bottom to cover that up. I am somewhat of a an attempter when it comes to aesthetics. I do like to attempt. I finished product even if it's something as small and simple as a industrial grade aircraft for my younger sibling now this little guy got completely fucked over let's see if we can fix him It's better. It's better. It's not perfect, but much. It's better already. Well, that's a lot better. I'm not going to say it's perfect, but hey. If it works, now what we'll do is we'll put a small pin through that. All right, she's back together. Let's go test her out. All right, so we're in action. Let's give her a test run. Don't know how this is going to perform. Let's see how she chooches. Eh, that's not the best, but if we were going against the wind, let's try down. Let's try with the wind. That's enough for a kid to be entertained. It's like the airplane movie. Ha <laughs> ha! It'll be enough for a kid.
a lot of weight on the back. So let me try adding some weight on the front. That might help rest our case. All right, back at the bench. So, I'm gonna add some weight to the front. <laughs> Try that. See how that will work. Make sure the ends are recessed. Kids can't get their hands torn up. Safety first. Everyone apparently gives a shit about that now. Well, I certainly do. My motto is to try and not die. What's yours? All right, that went in nicely. This is fairly, this is surprisingly well compressed foam, if I must say. Was not expecting that from some sort of a dollar store airplane, which in short implies that it will last more than five minutes, hopefully. That's still a little tail heavy. Get some more wire. All right, let's give her another try. Action camera activated. All right, let's see. Let's see if it's more balanced. Oh, that's a lot better. It's a lot, a lot better. It works. Oh shit. It did work. We'll have to try sliding another pin in the back. That was a miserable fail. Put one here, one here, and we'll add a couple more pins in front too. See if that does anything. the amazing 10 gigabytes of 
storage on this somewhat decent phone I have filled up. I had to move footage to the hard drive. That's one of the reasons why I've been hesitant to film. But we have more or less a finished product. I did some decorating, did some coloring with a marker that is bigger than most people's head. So that's nice. I reinforced the wings in, I taped them in, and here we go. Flight two. Wow. That worked. Oh my goodness, that worked really well. Let's try that again. That worked substantially well. Hi, boy. Hi. How you doing? It's our neighbor doggy. Sweet. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Hi, guys. Hey there. Good. Uh, no. It's more like a Dollar Tree plane. But the wing was snapped in half, and so I did a little little bit of a repair. Well, the wing kicks going crooked and whatnot, but hey. It's good enough to goop over. Well. Well, the moral of this story, ladies and gentlemen, is don't let your kids break their plane. Um, be it siblings or your own children. Um, and we also learned today that Fix All Adhesive, at least the Super Glue brand, does not work for shit on foam, styrofoam. So yeah, it apparently will just dissolve right through it. But, aside from that, everything went well. We figured it out, we balanced it, so we basically created a new more durable plane. We got some, um, a bunch of glue, um, not glue, put a bunch of tape reinforcement on there. That should help. And there you go. So, fixed airplane. Stick around. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, share the video with your friends. Tell them what you think of Toolbench. And please support this channel by spreading the word. Like I said, I'm, this is a new channel of mine. And I'm really, really hoping it'll, you know, get some views. Alright, well sorry that the first video was a little bit long, but stick around and we'll have some more videos for you.